a country reputed to be the second largest oil producer in Africa, the 14th in the world. It's fully to have soap in the eyes while swimming in a river. Unfortunately, this continues to be the case in Nigeria when it comes to the production and availability of premium motor spirit, otherwise known as petrol. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPC, through the Executive Vice President Downstream, Adeyemi Adetunji, says the NNPC has 2 billion liters of petrol in stock which can serve for more than 30 days. And he attributed recent queues in Lagos to ongoing road infrastructure projects around Apapa. But of course, Nigerians are still grappling with this issue. It's queue after queue, which has, of course, impacted on the free flow of traffic in, in many highways. And of course, many states are also reeling from this impact. BK, your thoughts on this? My, my problem with the people at the NNPC is the their capacity to lie through the teeth. Every time we have first scarcity, they never admit the truth. Never. We had a very serious uh, fuel crisis in 2017. It took a public hearing by the Senate for us to know that. Before that time, supply had tapered down. The supply had tapered down. And because supply had tapered down, the depots did not have the quantum of fuel supply that they used to have. And when you don't have enough, it leads to scarcity, it leads to hoarding. When you have more than enough, it is difficult to hoard. The marketers have been telling us that some of the, the depots are dry. They don't have supply. There are all kinds of reasons for this. These depot owners and other stakeholders want competitive pricing, appropriate pricing in that sector because inflation, um, forex, uh, the, the slide of our currency, and other factors are causing them to lose money. When you say, okay, sell at so, so so price. Energy, electricity supply that is not constant will push people to rely more on diesel. Diesel that was sold at 225 per liter during the first quarter of this year, mm. being sold at above 700 naira per liter. Now you have to use generators to power your filling stations. Who bears the brunt? Who, 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 who caters for that? The final analysis, these guys are in, are in business to make money. So more and more of them are finding difficult to assess foreign exchange that they need. Now, there is the issue of the daughter vessel. The daughter vessel is what they use to bring uh, product from the from the um, what's it called from the ships that bring in product. The cost of hiring those daughter vessels it's went up by more than one hundred and thirty percent. Again, who bears the cost? The cost. So depot owners, as far as they are concerned now. <coughs> It is either we go to 220 naira per liter or no show. A lot of them, a lot of the independent marketers, they are buying at depots higher than the official price. So what do you want them to do? What do you want them to do? I will, I will agree that, yes, there is some hoarding because people receive product and refuse to sell. Indeed. That is because of the volatility of the uh, pricing in that right. sector. We don't know whether... Tomorrow or next, NNPC will say, well, in view of all that is happening, we think that there this has time, to be some modulation right, of, the, of the uh, uh, pump price, which they did, I think, about two months ago or three months ago, you know. But for Nigerians to be suffering the way they are suffering, it's just, it's just bad. We can't have a product in abundance and be suffering in our country. Some of the countries refine, making money from refining petrol, they don't even have a drop of the product.
But we have it, yet we are suffering in this way. The whole of the area where I live, there's not a single filling station selling fuel. Everybody is worried. We don't want to sleep in the heat. We want to put on our generators, but we can't access uh, uh, petrol. And then NPC will come and tell us that they have, have uh, uh, 100 million uh, uh, liters. People can't compact. tell us the truth about our consumption level. How do you want me to believe them? If you have so much, why are we, why are we suffering? Why are marketers saying that depots do not have enough? Well, this has to be resolved. We don't want to hear stories. All we want to see is, okay, no, no cues again. We don't want to hear all these stories about that you have more than enough because you've lied like that in the past. Right, and, and the impact is also endless because, you know, uh, many people are having to deal with um, triple triple prices of, you know, you know, for transportation from here, here to there. And, of course, this has also affected prices of already high uh, commodities. So, so what do you make about, you know, permanent solutions to this because there's also a foundational problem of NMPC not even having enough capacity to absorb uh, this this product from the vessels and that is why the <coughs> role of IPMAN and other stakeholders are important and now of course like BKO said the issue of who bears the brunt of all these extra costs. We are not likely to have an end to this until Dangote refinery starts production. But I think the good news there now is that I think this, by the end of this month, the December, um, Nangote will be test running with uh, the production of diesel and uh, petrol from its uh, 650,000 barrels refinery. I think that's the good news. And I think what the NMPC has failed to tell Nigerians is that they are aware that Nangote will be pumping petrol and uh, petro uh, petroleum products to the markets as from the end of this year. So they are slowing down on their imports. So all these things they are telling us that it's just irresponsible. They are lying to Nigerians. I don't know why they enjoy lying like this. Now, grown up men lying. Yes, lying, about two lying months ago, they told us it was flawed that caused petroleum scarcity. Now, the executive director, whatever he calls himself, yesterday said, it was because there was construction in Apapa. I don't know how to that even is, explain that. That, that it's causing this. The construction has been in Apapa for God knows when. So why can't they just say, yes, we expect that uh, by the time... See, it is only NMPC that is important because it's only NMPC has access to foreign exchange. The other independent major marketers, they are no longer importing petroleum products because they are also very careful. Because if you go and bring... Yeah, your well, petrol. Some of their friends that yes, allow to import. Yeah, they allow some of their friends, but just very few. So, but all of them are looking at the startup date of the Dangote run because if you go and bring your product, you bring two billion liters, and Dangote starts uh, pumping into the mark, uh, into the mm -hmm. uh, local market, you're on your own. So they are edging their bets. So instead of telling us, yes, I mean, tell us the truth about what is happening. You so say they two want billion. To reduce the volume. The that volume that is coming in, because Not ahead of the coming ahead of the coming of uh, 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 Dangote. Dango that is what is happening. All right. We're not telling all the truth. All right, gentlemen. Uh, well, the struggle continues. Uh, of course, we'll see how how, how it all pans out. Uh, the, the pain, <laughs> the the inconvenience. All right, all right. And December is already upon us. The month of celebration and and festivities. We hope the Nigerians can breathe a, 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 a sigh of relief eventually. That's a